I'm so tap tap! And finally this game is doing monthly events like I've kind of been suggesting for a year or so now. Um, it is the June Tropical Vacation um, event. So uh, all the hidden fish unlocks are already here and if you're one of those people that watches on mute or just doesn't pay attention or I don't really know what happens but people just can't operate with video guides, I have a written guide and the game crashed. That's fine. That's expected. Um, I have a written guide in the description, so you can go open that up while the game is reloading. So, um, all the hidden fish unlocks are known already. They, they're really boring and really standardized anymore, and that kind of sucks. But, I have them all here for you, and I also have the tropical event quest thing for Alola and Nessie. So, we're just gonna get started while the game is reloading. Um, for the Alola Dumbo Octopus, you need to watch 15 ads for currency. I saw somebody say 5. Um, but just, there's always one where you gotta watch ads to get currency. Um, specifically the event currency. I never say currency, I mean the event currency. Um, Vacation Octopus, or Vacants Octopus, if you prefer. Which the developers apparently do. Uh, tap 100 bubbles above the tropical seahorse's heads. Seahorse, sea hell. Uh, that just, you know, when the little thing pops above the head, you just tap it and you do that a hundred times. Cause that's fun. Um, vacation starfish, or vacants starfish, if you prefer. Uh, create ten pirate event fish. To create the pirate event fish, good timing game. Um, you need to go in here and you need to go into the fusion tab. And there's all of these boys here. You need two uh, specific fish from the current event to make the old event fish. And uh, it doesn't count if you've done them before. You have to make ten new ones even if you did last month's events. And let me say, I really preferred it in some of the... Uh, last year when they did repeat events, what they did was the event, the whole event repeated, including the unlocks. So if you already had them, you could just buy new ones. Um, and if you didn't have them, you got to play the event from the start with all the hidden unlocks. And like, it was really fun. And they don't do that anymore because it was fun. So obviously they stopped. Um, vacation frog. Um, use 500 clams on fusion fish. Now, that means either you need to make them in... Uh, you need to either make these fusion fish in here, or you need to go and make regular fusion fish. I think this event also comes out with fusion fish. Like, new, normal fusion fish. Oh, and the update is out for everybody at this point, by the way. It should be out totally. Did, didn't I make these? I must have not saved my game. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't play this game anyway. Um... So yeah, you just need to use 500 clams on fusion fish. That should be pretty easy just in making 10 of these old fish. The pirate fish, which, let me say, the pirate event and the Egypt event were the last genuinely really super good events in this game. Those were, those were really good, they were really balanced, they had fun unlocks, um, the quests weren't stagnant. Um, that was, that was, that was good stuff. Um, what else we got? Dreamcatcher Jellyfish is the last one. You just need to own three island sharks. So that is this boy here with the um, tribal tattoos. It's like that one with that weird mountain of meat from that one Hawaiian animated movie thing. You know the one. Um, so yeah, then you just need to own all the... <coughs> excuse me. You need to own all the species of event fish to get the tropical whale. And then the Alola Nessie has his own quest here. That's uh, this thing here. So to do the quest for Ness, if you will, you need to look at all of the names of the fish in the event tab. So let's just go to manage here. Go to bloop and look at the thingers. Freaking raccoon. Good old trash panda there. Um, by the way, the I like the Alola Nessie. Alola form. Um, but I'm, I'm never going to get it. <laughs> nope. I got literally one fish last event. That's... That's how little I enjoy these now. Also, the tropical whale is, like, encased in a condom. And I can't imagine that is good for the longevity of the whale. I mean, it'll keep him nice and fresh and keep him safe from diseases, but I think it may cause breathing problems. I don't know. I don't, I don't support putting condoms on whales, I just gotta say. So, back to the Nessie quest, condoms aside. Um, first you gotta do that thing that I just did, look at all the names of the event fish tab. Um, then you gotta level up Hermit Crab to level f oh, it just freaking it just straight up tells you now, doesn't it, huh? <laughs> well, I guess I don't really need to explain this to you, but I will anyway. Um, so you need to do what's on screen here, you need to reach, you need to level up your crab to level 5, then you need to use the skill 15 times. 
Uh, you don't have to, like, withhold from, like, leveling him up. It just means that it only counts after he's level 5 or above. You need to fulfill the previous condition. Um, that's how these event things always work. Next, you need to harvest 150 crabs from the farm. Um, auto harvest and stuff usually does not count for that. And uh, they also reduce the timers in this event for the farm materials, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Crab used to be two hours, I think. And now it's like 45 minutes, I guess. So yeah, it's a bit faster. So just harvest, you know, you need to harvest crabs 15 times from the thingy here. Um, then you need to spend 300 or 30,000 event currency, which won't be a problem. This event is very expensive. Um, in fact, this event is a total of around 500,000. Um, it was a little bit cheaper. Some of the fish are a little bit cheaper. Um, I would say the uh, the amount we ca calculated uh, thanks to Pufferfish Planet and Hazy um, from the Discord, uh, 550,000 currency. It might be like. 500,000 flat or something a little bit less than that. Maybe like 10% less, but yeah. It's a lot. It's a real lot. Anyway, um, the final thing for the Questorino is you need to buy five Dreamcatcher jellyfish and four tropical whales. Very expensive. Very expensive. Um, so don't buy those until you unlock the unlock the quest thing. Until this, until that shows up on screen. Usually these do not count um, until the step of the quest is unlocked because I, I don't know. I just like to make it annoyingly difficult. So that is all of the things. Oh, there's also an ex there's also another quest. These are just written right out. There's sands. I want sands. Do you, do you guys like sands, Undertale? I like him. It's my favorite Pokemon. Uh, anyway, yeah, you can. These just tell you what to do. You do have to complete them in order. In order, though. And once you come, once you unlock them, you can buy them with uh, pearls as well. So that's kind of neat. Plays a little ukulele there. So <laughs> if you can't tell, my, my enthusiasm for the game is totally gone. Let me tell you a story. So um, last year with the event, the anniversary event, which is coming up in a little over a month. Um, a little less than a month, whatever. Um, June 20 something -eth. Um, I saved up 1B candies. That's 1 million candies. And um, I was getting, I think it was over that actually. And I was getting super ready for the next event. The events were so expensive, but I was making the guides and I really wanted to actually complete the events. And, and, and then with the Halloween event, it just took all your candy and all of your candy just doesn't do anything in that event and just they stole it and I did all that work and so now I have no drive to ever put any amount of effort into this game ever again and that's a real great way to just absolutely piss off your user base for no actual gain uh, the developers of this game kind of well the publisher I guess but the, the people in charge Cold hearts and tiny brains, that's all I gotta say. They still haven't hired a Facebook support person either, which is amazing. That used to be the only way to get support was to bug their Facebook person. And then their Facebook person like went to college or something like six months ago and they never refilled the position. <laughs> There's like, eh, people don't need support. Fuck them. They're just losers that play our stupid game, you know? Fuck them. Who gives a shit? <sighs> anyway. That's Abyssrium. Remember to subscribe and hit that stupid little bell icon if you actually want to get notifications of new videos. And anytime there's an Abyssrium update, I'll have a little guide for you. And, uh, good luck. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.